the D and the J. What do they stand for? <laughs> wow, okay, okay, that's a tough question, but all right. Oh, I know. We don't uh, mess around here. G stands for Danny and the J stands for Jesus. I, I thought that's what I'd heard, and it's not Jesus. Not Jesus. It's Jesus. Your mom had some high-minded thoughts for you, right? She did. She, she had a purpose for me. All right, that's excellant. So does anybody call you Jesus? No, because they know better. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you do impersonations. Me? Yeah. Oh, no. I beg to differ because Russell oh, does man. this with Sierra when he gets the contract. Hey, Seattle. We got a deal. And then you join forces with Tyler Lockett and you become Sierra. Hey, Seattle. We got a deal. Go Hawks. <laughs> No, I think there's a little bit of uh, misconception here. <laughs> this is how you really want you really want to go down and get a big contract. Come on, really? So we had to give him a hard time. <laughs> Did he like it? Oh yeah, we had we, yeah. we, we, we bust his ball all, all week. Yeah, you got to. That's that's what the quarterback's for. Oh yeah, what, what's that? Now DJ, I actually when I saw that video, I thought initially that was Sierra. You did such a good job. Man. First, I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> man, man, I don't, I don't even want to go down, go down that route. <laughs> All right, so you are also, in addition to being an impersonator, you're a dancer, uh, like I saw in the production, the finest production you'll ever see of Beauty and the Beast. What was going on there? Yeah, uh, it, it, it was more for being able to give back to, to my school, you know, doing a little charity event. They asked me, would I come dance? I was like, I don't know. But so that's principal, your high school? Well, I, I went there right. for like two years. Okay, right. My principal who was there when I first got there, she was like, hey, if you do it, I'll do it. So, got down with it, you that's know? That's so cool. You're very light on your feet. I try, I try. It's impressive. Now, you uh, must like smart cars, I would think, right? I mean, it depends on what type of car you're talking about here. <laughs> Those tiny smart cars. Oh, now, now the right. smart car right now, you know, I, I saw it. So I saw that photo. So this is what happened. Right. I'm, I'm, let me tell you what happened. Okay. This guy was like, hey, man, can you fit in my smart car? I said, smart car? Like, what? Right. I go outside. I see this little, this, this little bitty car. I was like, bro, I said, you want me to fit in that? It, it's like, it, it, was like, it was like Fred Fishstone, like in a right. big wheel, you know? Yeah. So I am sitting here, I was like, I might could get in it. I had like took my stomach in a little bit, took my stomach in a little bit, you know? I actually got in it. Took me about 10 minutes to get back out of it. So you were stuck? I was stuck. <laughs> I didn't know how, how, how I was getting out of there. And I told us, dude, you got, you got to pull me out of this car. Right, <laughs> sure. Cut me out one. You know, but I, I, I try to fit in small places. Sometimes it works right. out, sometimes it doesn't. All right, DJ, well, thank you. Be gentle. Be gentle with me. Oh, man. I'm fragile. Man. I won't hurt you, I promise. Okay, good. I promise. Hey. No worries. <laughs>